This year, August is a three-letter word, H-O-T, and most people aren't happy about it. This Irish skin doesn't take the heat terribly well. Of course, New Yorkers always complain about the weather, but this year, complaints seem especially heated. You know, you could pass out from the heat, and if you're alone, you're in trouble. Leaving many wishing it would just cool off again. But how easily we forget just how cool it could be. That's why I went back in time today to remind us not only of what the weather could be, but what it will be all too soon. Welcome back to the dead of winter. Is this how it feels on in and off, in off the head? Well, it's not too cold, but it's freezing cold. Remember this? Remember waking up to Mount Toyota? Or remember me last February 20th? when New York thermometers broke 65 year lows. This morning in Central Park, it was only three degrees and it doesn't seem much warmer now. Remember when you said there's no place you'd rather be? I'm leaving for Florida on Sunday. <laughs> Would you ever leave New York to get rid of this weather? Oh yeah, Vegas, here I come. Or when the Hudson River froze. It's a classic example of the grass is always greener or powdered on the other side. The bottom line is New Yorkers need to start looking at the bright side of both seasons. In the winter, at least you can dress in layers. So I start off with an undershirt, then I have on a sweater, and then I have on this really warm coat that only comes out when it gets really cold. And in the summer, well, there's tips to keep you cool. First, always make sure you're in an air-conditioned room, or at the very least, get that fan going. Hot days aren't days to be a hero. Don't overexert yourself with exercise if you have to go outside. Wear cotton-based clothing and drink plenty of water. And remember, in the summer, at least the rain doesn't pile up on our sidewalks. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.